Dear students, welcome in the video lecture on the preparation of trans dichlorobis ethylene diamine cobalt third chloride. Okay, so in this video we will learn how to synthesize this particular complex in our laboratory. So, if we find this complex, then this is a coordination compound where uh, you will see that this cobalt is in plus 3 state and there are two ethylene diamine uh, ligands. They are joint and these ligands are bidentate ligand and they are present and transposition to each other in this complex. And there are two chloride uh, ligands they are present at transposition to each other with this cobalt uh, third ion in this complex and this complex is green in color we will obtain green crystals of trans dichlorobase ethylene diamine cobalt third chloride when we synthesize it in laboratory with the help of cobaltus chloride and ethylene diamine okay so we will prepare this complex in the laboratory with the help of very easy steps apparatuses which are required for this preparation firstly we will be required this filtration flask with this cork and this is glass tubing for the aeration process now we will be requiring a beaker, a conical flask of small size and test tubes, tongs and this measuring cylinder. Now, uh, after this apparatus, we will be requiring some chemicals. So firstly, the chemical required is this cobaltus chloride and a reagent ethylene diamine is also required uh, but this reagent is, uh, but in this preparation, we will be requiring a 10% of this ethylene diamine which we have prepared, prepared in this flask, a small size flask. We have taken 1.5 ml of ethylene diamine in 15 ml of distilled water. Moreover, we will be requiring a concentrated HCl 15 ml after the aeration process we have to immediately add this concentrated HCl and a distal water is also required. Now we are starting our preparation. Now this is cobaltus chloride 4.5 gram of cobaltus chloride. We will add this cobaltus chloride slowly in this filtration flask. We will add this 30 ml of distilled water in this. Now we will shake it for some time to make it completely soluble. Now this cobaltus chloride is completely soluble in this distilled water. Now we have to add this 10% of prepared ethylene diamine solution in this. Now we will shake it for uh, 5 minutes only. Making it completely soluble, we have to fit the cork at the mouth of this filtration flask and the glassing tube in this way so that it can touch the surface of the mixture in inside the uh, vacuum flask as we can see clearly. Now we will keep this mixture on the water bath for 1 hour minimum and 1.5 hour maximum to make it evaporate and we will see the changes in it. This is water pressure pump. It has one outlet and this is two inlet. Now its arrangement is like in this way. The side one portion of the uh, hole is connected through a pipe to a filtration flask in this way and the other one 
should uh, should be kept in this way so that it can be connected to that tap and the water is open for the rinsing and the other portion of the outlet is kept like in, in this way so that water can easily flow from this now we have kept this filtration flask on the water bath like it is touching the solution and one aeration process is completely occurring in this filtration flask like it is taking air from uh, from this glassing tube and other the, uh, the pressure for this air is from this water pressure pump we have to keep it for maximum 1.5 hour and we are observing its changes 1.5 hour now we have to add concentrated hcl 50 ml directly in it now after 1.5 hours we have to pour this complete mixture in this china dish now see clearly in this we have added the concentrated hcl now we will keep it in burner flame for up to that time up to which its concentration become half or we can say that more concentrated form we can get that after some time its concentration become half of it now we have to keep it for overnight and after this we have to filter the crystals obtained and then we have to crush it with the help of glass rod in the beaker and we have to add 2 ml of methanol in it and we have to evaporate completely added methanol and hcl in the beaker or uh, keeping it on the water bath and the crystals are like now the crystals finally obtained are like this of light green color and these are uh, this green powder crystals are of trans dichloro this ethylene diamine cobalt third chloride now it's time to acknowledge my entire team my students ajay malkani lata kavidyal ranjana adhikari simran karayat and tanuja negi for their efforts they have taken they have put in preparation of this particular coordination compound and they uh, they work hard and they just prepare step by step this inorganic coordination compound in the laboratory so that you can get the knowledge how to prepare it okay so thank you to all of you for watching patiently this video thank you very much